first thing I decided when designing my cinema ticket booking app was what the basic functions of the app are going to be. So the first thing it needs to be able to do is let the user browse all of the films that are currently on in the cinema and then buy tickets that they want to see. So when I normally go to the cinema, I know which film I'm going to want to watch. And then once I've picked the film, I can then pick the closest cinema to me that's showing that film. Now that order of pick the film, pick the cinema um, is the main way that the app needs to be oriented because that's the main way people are going to approach buying a ticket. Um, now the second basic function that the app needs to be able to provide is to store the tickets that the user has bought on the app. So it can store the tickets using QR codes, providing unique identifiers, um, and then when the customer goes along to the cinema, they can just scan the QR code and walk right in, minimizing human contact. So the first thing I did um, after that was look at a couple of apps in the market. So the first one I saw was Cinemap, and I really liked their dark mode display because that fits in with the kind of dark theater um, style when you're in the cinema. Um, but I also thought that the number of tabs along the bottom there are a little bit confusing and there are perhaps too many. And seeing as the two basic functions that we've outlined can kind of be categorized into two main pages, I think that's the best way to go. So the next app I had a look at was actually a design concept by Eugen Kuto. Um, and I found the blurs in the background and the blur views a little bit uh, off-putting when I'm trying to book my app. And therefore that kind of cemented the simplistic um, need of the app. And also, I thought the colour scheme needed to be a little bit more simple and that the orange and the gold that we saw above wasn't really um, mixing with the cinema vibes. So, key points we've seen so far is that um, the app should have a dark theme and it should have two tabs along the bottom to browse and then to store tickets. So I think from above, um, I decided that the best accent colour for buttons should be red. Um, firstly, because it's energising, as we know, and it's the colour of excitement. But also, it's the classical theatre um, cinema seat colour. You always go into a theatre and it's got very dark atmosphere with red seats. Um, and that's the kind of uh, style that I was hoping to go for. So next, I looked at some initial uh, storyboarding. Um, and the first thing that you want to do when you download the app is sign into your account, which means it can save payment details and you don't have to keep on adding those each time you want to buy a new ticket. And then I also designed this simple app icon, which uh, is inspired by one of the app, um, one of the Apple SF symbols, um, and all with the red color theme in mind. And then uh, moving on, looking at the kind of browse and by view. Uh, these are the initial design concept, concepts I came up with. So on the left you can see what's on the main uh, search by genre or by film view and that allows you to sort and filter by all of the things that you'd want to when booking a film. So genre, actors in the film, the data when it's next on, the length of the film, the rating, that kind of thing. And then when you click on one of the films on the left hand side it takes you to another view uh, which is the one on the right and that shows you a bit of a description about the film uh, perhaps the trailer, um, and then the next booking times to book the film. And then beyond that, um, you would need to be able to book the tickets. In this case, we're booking for the Avengers. Um, and obviously the key things that you want to be displayed in this view is the time, the place, the date, and what film you're going to be watching. Um, so to keep it simplistic, there are just four different choices there for uh, tickets. So that's the main uh, buy view. And once you've bought your ticket, you then um, get taken to your tickets view. So this is the second section. We've moved on from the buy. We're now on the storing section. So we've got my tickets and it's just got a list of all of my tickets. So I've just got the Avengers there at the top of the list. Um, and that's my QR code. And then if we click on that, go to the right hand side and that allows you to scan your code when you arrive nicely, um, quick and simple and possibly set a reminder as well. So those were the main um, kind of app views that I intended the app to have. And having done that, I got a little bit inspired and thought um, to design 
a real app um, using and implementing all of the ideas as you've seen above. Um, so I decided to make an iOS app using Xcode, like I've been doing in computer science A-level, um, and I used just six dummy data films from Rotten Tomatoes um, just to get a feel of the photos and the descriptions um, that could be used in a real app. So this was the original design kind of halfway through the first stage. I've got the what's on uh, view on the left hand side with a list of all the films and then you can see at the bottom there's a what's on and a my tickets tab and those are the main two. But if you were to click on Toy Story for example on the left hand side that would take you to the right hand side with a picture and then a nice little description. So um, after a bit of feedback um, I realised that the dark mode was definitely the way to go and that also really interestingly pictures are needed on the left hand side. The main thing that draws your eye is pictures. Uh, whenever I'm scrolling through the news or whenever I look at the pictures. So I decided um, after some feedback that would be the main uh, thing to focus on for the next stage. So after that, uh, and a bit more work, um, this is the final MVP um, app that I made. Now instead of showing you these static photos, I'm going to switch over to my phone to um, get a better view of what's happening and the kind of animations between each stage. So let's swap over to my phone and here it is. So uh, as you, you can probably recognise the icon at the top right there, if we click on cinema that takes us to the what's on page and that's the main starting page that we want to start off at. So you can see we've got a, a nice list here of all of the films that are going to be uh, search through and then if we tap on the bottom right we've got my tickets obviously now I haven't booked anything so I don't have any tickets here but we'll see later this is where they'll be populating so if we go back to the what's on view we can um, search by the film that I want to watch so I know I want to watch uh, Toy Story so I'm going to type in Toy Story and No Time to Die also comes up but I'm going to click on Toy Story um, and here we go so we've got the view of Toy Story um, with a couple of things. So if I click on the picture we can have a nice picture um, of the cover and then a little description about what happens in the movie and then we've got right at the bottom here the next steps. So we've got the next showtime, when, um, the date and where it is and that uh, where it is we can show on a map and that takes us to a map of where Pinewood Cinema in this case is and then compared to me down in the left hand corner. So that can be used later on as well, but that gives a rough sense of how close the cinema is to you. So having seen that it is quite close to me, I know I want to buy a ticket, so I'm going to click on the buy ticket um, and it takes us to another paging view with a couple of things to put in. So we've got just a summary of all of the details of the film that we're going to watch, um, the number of tickets that we want, and in this case it's just going to be me, um, and the total at the bottom is £12.99, which does change, but we're going to just stick with £12.99. So I'm going to click Pay now, and you can see at the bottom there, instead of Buy Ticket, it's now changed to View Ticket, and that's because we've just bought our first ticket. So I'm going to click on View Ticket, and that takes us back to the My Tickets view, which is now populated with our first ticket. So we can see um, the picture of Woody next to his QR code, and if we click on that, that takes us to a big view of the QR code, which is nice and prominent and only is two taps away if we're going to be logging on in the cinema entrance. And then it gives you a little bit of details about that film that you've seen, uh, that you're about to see, and the map again to be able to navigate to the cinema when the time comes. Now if we click back on film, film details, that takes us back to the what's on view and we can go back to this stage just like before and we're back at the what's on and then back to my tickets we've got Toy Story and it's there at the top so I want to buy another ticket because this is fun um, and I'm going to scroll down and this time I want a sci-fi movie so I'm going to click on Doctor Strange um, don't need to read that that little spiel I know I want to watch this film so I'm going to click on buy a ticket this time I'm taking my whole family so we're going to pay now um, at £51.96 
pay and we can now view that ticket and there it is on our my tickets view we've definitely got another ticket there and that's showing Doctor Strange and there's our QR code. So that's the general layout of the app and a bit of a, a description of what's happening and we can go back to the film details. So that's the kind of MVP app that um, I've designed to um, kind of give a basic idea of what is going to happen in the app. Um, and now I'm just going to talk about a couple of extra ideas that I had which might be fun to add on if there's more time. So these are a couple of screens here about each of the things I've just been uh, talking about. But if we scroll down to our final page, a couple of ideas I've had uh, didn't quite have enough time to add more animations. So I really liked the kind of concept of adding animations um, and I guess feedback to the user during the whole experience. So there was a small animation with the search bar, but I think it would be really good to add an animation after you click the pay button, a kind of circle with a tick. And then you can also add in some haptic feedbacks and sound as well. But being um, just to really um, get that user experience just nice and polished. Um, let me just move that away. Um, another uh, other things that I could have a look into would also be, as we saw in the um, previous kind of research stage, selecting your seat in the auditorium is the next main thing that people want to be able to do when um, buying a ticket, and also choosing a cinema um, and a time. But I think the app has demonstrated the main qualities um, that you want from a cinema app. So I hope you enjoyed.